Go for it. Only kidding, guys. <laughs> hey. Only kidding, guys. Only kidding, guys. Happy April Fools. Enjoy Chelsea Racing. Johnson, lovely first touch to cushion it and a brilliant piece of skill. Hello, welcome back to the bridge. It's a beautiful day. The grass is being mown on the most perfect pitch you've ever seen. And happy April Fool's Day, Pat Nevin. Yeah, um, always, always had April Fool's in football. We cannot get rid of it. Favourite one, um, we had our ex-manager. He sat down the night before a game and started playing piano beautifully. The whole place was up applauding him. At the end of it, he stood up and took a bow. The piano kept on playing. It was one of their mechanical ones. We all, we all fell for it. Right, it is Bye Bye Country and Hello Club now. The run-in starts here. Ten games to go. Not another international break until it's all done and dusted and Chelsea have got the blue and white ribbons on the trophy. But Chelsea life has continued despite the international break. A pace down at Cobham. Actually, with some fairly good players not involved for one reason and another, Pat, including uh, this bloke who's got some skill. Yeah, David Lewis, um, do you know, I actually thought I'd gone down the patent office and got that patent myself for that one. So well done, David. I love that little skill. It is not a chip, it is a scoop. Thank you. Nice touch. The Blues <laughs> Brothers for, uh, for David Luiz there. Um, he was part of a, a fairly skillful looking, there were enough players for a skillful looking six a side tournament. Um, we had Fabregas, Costa, Terry Luiz. No, so who scored the winning goal though? Well, I don't know. Who did score the winning goal? Eduardo gets the ball. Plays a one two. He's over the half wheeling. Surely not. He can't. He can't. He's only scored the winner. It's his greatest <laughs> contribution so far. He hasn't had a chance, Eduardo, the uh, first place keeper. Well done him. And mobbed. A and rightly so. <laughs> it's a fantastic moment for him. Of course, in the middle of that, um, I think Seth Fabregas is enjoying it, as he always does it, because... I win again. Why? I don't know. You tell me. Why am I always winning? Or maybe it was a lucky beard, because he took it off and he didn't win. Have a look at this. Hi, Seth. How are you guys? We're going out uh, for training now. Nice sunny day. Here is my mate, Marquitos. Amazing day Isn't to train. Isn't it Phil the Kennedy? And let's see how it goes. See you guys. Today I lost for the first time this season. I lost for the first time this season I lost. So, great to the other team. See you soon, guys. Take care. That was good, wasn't it? Fab Cam. Now, there's no game of loans this week. Instead, Mr Nevin, it is... International Round Up. Does that work? Not really. Loads of travelling superstar blues out doing their bit for their various nations over the last couple of weeks. Thank God it's over. But well done to Diego Costa. He scored a goal for Spain against Israel. Well done to Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who scored twice for the England under-21s, which is essentially uh, basically a former Chelsea youth team. And also well done to Juan Cuadrado, the long-term loanee of Juve, who scored for Colombia against Ecuador. All three of those players, by the way, were on the winning side as well as scoring goals. But speaking of England under-21s, Pat, Tammy Abraham is back fit again. This was from England under 21 training ahead of their game against like, Denmark. Look at this little dummy. I mean, that's good enough. That is a brilliant dummy. Fast enough, uh, but the finish is stunning. It all happened a little bit too quick, so you got to see it again. Lovely little dummy past two players. Cruises there, but that little finish. Right now, I hope you're sitting comfortably and you've got your thinking caps on. Something that went up online this week, a new feature. It took a long, long time for our crack production team to come up with it. <laughs> Where does N'Golo go? It was his birthday on Wednesday. 
And Pat, yeah, how do the people vote? So we take them out of the picture there, we run it on a little bit, and after a few seconds, we're going to freeze it, and you have to figure out where it's going to go. Obviously, you look at the emojis, it's on Facebook, you can find it there, and you have to guess whereabouts he's gone. Now, in actual fact, we saw there that he's going to get close, he's going to make a tackle, fine, absolute drink, but it's, I would suggest, probably the toughest competition I've ever seen in my life. Because I think what we all know is he can go absolutely anywhere. Remember that book? It was just like that, you know. Where's Wally? We wore a red and white striped top. Or where's Wally? So my second favourite goal was at the Champions League here against Porto. What a Wally. I mean, one of my earliest goals for, for Chelsea. Shevchenko and Balak has scored! Michael Balak with a massive goal! That was just a tiny part of a feature we did here at the bridge with Michael Ballack, who was back picking out three of his favourite goals. This was number one, and he is a better commentator than we are. What a game against Manchester United. Ferreira on the right side on the ball. Ballack is asking for the ball, but I didn't get it. No, did you? Like always, he gets the ball against three, four players. He doesn't know where he has to put the ball. Puts the ball in the box, and who's there? Me. What a header. You can see the entirety of that feature on the website and you should watch three and two as well as one because the Wally and the half Wally are pretty good as well. Something else you can see on the website, a feature we made about the under eight signing session. Amongst their number, a surname you might just recognise. If you can be a footballer, it's the best life in the world. You know, I was very fortunate to do it and hopefully one day maybe one of these kids might have the opportunity themselves. But it takes a lot of hard work and that's always what I say to him and any kid out there. There's no shortcuts. You've got to work hard, you've got to train hard, you've got to dedicate your life to being a footballer. It's been a lovely day and I think it's a great experience. If your kids ever lucky enough to get an opportunity to sign for a Chelsea, Liverpool, whoever, you can't turn it down for them because of what it can become. He'll probably be able to pass a bit as well, that red nap lad. Uh, we look forward to seeing his progress, hopefully here at Chelsea for many years to come, along with all the other boys there. Now, ladies, they haven't got their league season going yet. They've had two matches, though, in the FA Cup, and they're already through to the semi-finals, Pat. They won the first of them 4-0 against Donny, and then 5-1 against Sunderland at the weekend, from one down, and a couple of new names starting to shine quite brightly here, including Ramona Buckman. This is a great finish from the new girl. The quality is right up there. We're a very attack-minded side. I mean, that's the nine goals and two games in the cup and just for the semi-finals to come up there as well. But not just the cup, the league. The, it's, it's going to be top quality now. Birmingham away it'll be in the semi-finals. The other semi-final is Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal. The holders are out. So good luck to the ladies when that comes around. And then it's the spring series before a new winter type season begins again in September because they're reshaping the game. And in terms of league matches, have a look at this. Big Sam coming here on Saturday, then they've won three games 1-0 in a row, so maybe the international break was quite handy from a Blues point of view there. Eden Hazard scored in that goal against Palace to clinch the title a couple of seasons back. Here's the subject of the bet with our betting partner, William Hill. He was 23-20 to, to score and Chelsea win, boosted for you to 11-8. to eight. And that is it for this week. Good luck to the boys against the Palace. Enjoy the game if you're coming. And uh, basically, Pat, we say what we say at the end of every international break.
that the football is back. However, I did go and see Scotland win the game of football. That tells you anything can happen. Don't take it for granted yet, but I'm still pretty confident. It's back. The football's back. Ramirez! Oh, yes! Stropper, fantastic goal. Willian! Oh, wallop! Joe Cole, good shot! Yes! Great goal! And the ball into Costa there, though. One chance, and of course he's taken it. He's missed it, but the rebound is in. 1-0 Chelsea, one step closer to the title.